Today we're going to be checking out some of the best boxy boom monsters on the internet. The brand new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 character has been revealed and it is terrifying. The Poppy Playtime 3 trailer was released and there's a brand new terrifying monster. And someone has already made it in this game and so we're about to check it out. But before we do that, let's remind ourselves just how deadly some of these characters are already are. Here's Kissy Missy. Look at her all cute and deadly. She's fighting off against a bunch of animals, which I think she'll be able to easily destroy. But look at her wonderful little smile. Don't be deceived, ladies and gentlemen. She will destroy your face. I think what we'll do at the end of the video is take all of the original characters and put them against the brand new one and see if any of them can beat it. Oh, just skewered that hippo right in the face and just dragging it along. <laughs> yeah, you better run, you fatties. <laughs> right in the butt. Now, if you didn't see the trailer, I don't know how much I should spoil for you. You, but you're gonna see some very familiar characters in the third one as well And one of my favorite ones is obviously mommy long legs She's quite capable of destroying all kinds of things and in this game I think this is my favorite version because she actually is more representative of the whole mommy long leg esque type of thing and she just absolutely obliterated all of these gorillas. I don't know why, but here's Bunzo versus a bunch of snakes. Cause why not? Bunzo has got, uh, you know, his nice little, I don't know what you want to call those things, but they got spikes on them and he bangs them together. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, Bunzo is uh, getting wrapped around by a whole bunch of snakes, but I think capable of, de you know, protecting itself long enough to destroy all of them. Oh no, Bunzo died. <laughs> Symbols, that's time to sing. They're symbols, and uh, you know, he's the birthday dude, and he knows your birthday. There's only one snake left, I can't believe he died to him. Something tells me that for these four little characters with their packs, not gonna work out too well. Oh no, Killing <laughs> Willie just one shot at that guy. Oh no, I did not expect that to happen. I thought that would at least go a little bit longer. Oh my goodness, I forgot how terrifying this Killy Willy is. What about a bunch of dinosaurs? Did he one-shot everything? I think he might one-shot everything. He might be a little OP. Oh, he's getting swarmed now. Killy Willy, can you do with all these dinosaurs? Let's let's see if he can manage to break free from all this insanity that's ensuing right now. They're going to push him off the edge. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's turned around. He's swinging. Oh, the T-Rex in the face. He just destroyed them all in like two seconds once he finally turned around. I think he might be a little overpowered. Well, one of the most creepy ones, in my opinion, is this next one, which I'm sure a lot of you like. He's not, uh, he's, he's a little different. Let's put it that way. It's PJ Pugapiller, and as you can see, this one is a little crazy. This is like one of the first ones, I think, that ever appeared in this game, and uh, he's he's a little out of control. He's quite insane, and he's very slinky and caterpillar-like with his blades all over his body. And then he flies, which makes it even more insane. I don't like how his little tongue is flapping around. Oh, flapping around. I <laughs> think they all scream and try to run away. It's not going to work out too well for you. And, uh, you know, I don't know who's going to win this final battle. I don't know how strong this new creature is in this game, at least. But it looks absolutely terrifying in the new one, in the new, in the new trailer. Now it's time for you to see what it looks like if you haven't seen the trailer i'm about to show you one that looks extremely similar to the trailer this is not it but this is a representation that someone made which as you can see looks a little terrifying his name is boxy boo but here's the thing it doesn't really look so much like this it looks more like this one right here someone has created an absolute insane version that looks just like the thing from the trailer. Now, if you can't tell what this is, I'll give you a hint. It's a nice little children's toy. When you crank it, something pops out and scares you half to death. It's a jack-in-the-box, but it's not a normal jack-in-the-box. Oh, no. It's a boxy boo. And we don't know if that's the name of it, at least, but it is on the wiki, so I'm assuming that's what it is. But check this out. 
it's got slinky like hairy arms cut it's i don't know, look hairy in my opinion big old claws and then it eats its it, it, it ate the player and went back into the box and then just was sitting there it was terrifying but we do need to see who wins between these two because this one while this one looks you know i i mean it's yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That better happen. This thing is so cool looking. That thing was cool and all, but this one's like made to perfection. Let's see what it can do against 100 players. There's only like 20 guys, but you get it. He's probably going to destroy all this. It would be so cool if he could actually pop out and then go back in. Oh, he just ate that guy. His mouth does open. His hands move. His legs are slinky. It actually like works really well. And I don't I can't remember who made this thing, but props to the dude who took the time to make this. Even the bendy arm things where they're all kind of offset. Like, that looks so legit. Okay, he just easily wrecked that army. We need a bigger army. Yeah, the mammal army is going to fight him. Now, he might lose to this. These, these things are pretty overwhelming, but he has enough, like weapons on his body that he might be able to withstand what just happened he freaked out and sent some stuff flying i love when that happens because he's just derp out okay here we go he's he's getting definitely getting swarmed he's getting pushed but things are dying wow no come back no, there he is. Okay, he's he's still here. I thought I thought he just went flying. It was just a bunch of animals. We're good. We're still good. That's what happens when these weird body parts get wrapped around things and then they break into each other. Oh, is he alive still? He's still alive. He's eating giraffes. He's got pokey things all over his hands and his feet, and that's definitely coming in handy. They've got a pin that gets the wall. Is he going to die? I have no idea. I think this thing could do really well against the against all the other poppy playtime stuff he there's a there is a chance that he could win the new one's called project playtime by the way is something still alive somewhere hello something must still be alive but i don't know where <laughs> he's probably flying through infinity here we go the seven way battle to see who the strongest poppy playtime character is now we might have to eliminate killy willy he might be a little too op i think that's probably gonna wind up being the case now i think huggy wuggy still is probably the strongest and most terrifying one even in the new one if you watch the trailer you'll see why but that thing is definitely really cool okay uh, if Killy Willy is just too OP and he wrecks everything super easily, we'll drop him really, really quickly. Because I think he might be too strong. But those guys are withstanding it, so I don't know. We'll see. He might actually, it might be fine. Okay, we've got the new guy. He just took out PJ Pugapillar. Now it's the new Boxy Boo versus Huggy Wuggy. Okay, Killy Willy just took out both. Oh my gosh. Dude, Killy Willy's just insane. You see him run over here super fast? He might be a little terrifying. I, I think he's definitely, like, the most equipped in terms of, like, dangerous things. Wow, this... Yeah! They took out Killy Willy! It's just Huggy and Boxy Boo now. Who's gonna win this battle? Guys, I'm so excited. Who's gonna win? Is it gonna be the new guy or is it gonna be Huggy Wuggy? I have no idea. This Huggy's pretty good, too. So, it's not like, you know, it's it's weak sauce. No! Oh, my gosh! It won! Are you kidding me? The new guy won? That's so amazing. He beat that Killy Willy, which I thought he was going to lose to. Boxy Boo might be the strongest one yet. Today, I'm going to show you what happens when you take Boxy Boo and increase its size by about 1,000. This is an ordinary sized human individual. I had the idea, I wonder what happens if we take a guy like this and feed it to a giant boxy boo. We'll also ask the question, what happens if you feed an entire group of boxy boos to a giant boxy boo? So I spent a lot of time and I created this gigantic boxy boo. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at the size difference between that normal little human and this big gigantic thing. And given the fact that it can't really work too well the way it is, I thought, let's make a gigantic platform and make things fall into its mouth. For a second, I thought, I have no idea if this is going to work. And then I saw Boxy Boo open what? its mouth and I realized, yes, it's going to work very, very well. Boxy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, we missed him. He didn't eat him. We need to reposition, I think. Ah, uh, yes, a hippo. <laughs> We're about to drop a hippo in his mouth. I really am curious to know uh, what things look like when it gets eaten by Boxy Boo. Oh, 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 it didn't go in his mouth, but he flung him off with his face. Oh, do I? Maybe I need to reposition it just slightly. Piggies, <laughs> piggies, you like bacon, Boxy Boo? Let's find out if Boxy Boo likes bacon. There they go. They're going in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boxy Boo eating the pigs. I love it. Comment below and let me know what you think of my gigantic Boxy Boo. And if you would like me to upload it to the Steam Workshop. Here are some soldiers high up top. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boxy Boo's eating them. He's hungry for breakfast, you guys. So I took what I did was I took this Boxy Boo and I model modeled them off of that one I showed at the beginning. But I made it myself, which I'm very proud of. Goro is pretty big, but oh, my goodness. Look at this terrifying sight. Look at this terrifying sight right here. <laughs> That's amazing. Here he goes. He's about to fall off. He's going to get destroyed. Now, I wonder actually if I should have made him with if, if I shouldn't have made him with the hands because it kind of seemed to be getting in the way a little bit, but it, it kind of completes the whole look, though. You know what I mean? So I think it is. I think it is good. I added it in. I you know what I you know, what I should do. I should make another version of this with its head like slanted this way. So then that way he can actually eat things. But I think it's more fun feeding him things. Do you know what I love about this game? You get to ask questions that no other game allows you to ask like what would happen if you took an entire group of african safari animals and dropped them into the gullet of boxy boo if you've ever wondered now you can witness it in real time there he goes yeah he got it he got one of them the rhino's falling in oh you only get the rhino in the water buffalo or that whatever the cape buffalo is nothing actually dies i don't think if it goes in his mouth the the it, it does they just die when when they fall out i wish that i you know what i need to do maybe i need to put some like a sarlacc pit in its throat here we have an entire group of boxy boos all the boxy boos that i could find that we fought and fought off against one another we're gonna feed them to the giant boxy boo. look at this size difference it's gigantic <laughs> that's absolutely amazing will he catch any of them in his mouth oh he got one yeah he got one i think though that one fell right on top of his mouth it's going in no it's not this one though maybe no <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't catch any of them none of them wow it can actually bend his head down that's pretty sweet let's see what happens oh this this is actually pretty amazing to see his head is backwards like it's breaking it's not working out too well <laughs> it's totally broken and upside down fix your head man oh yeah there it goes wow that's actually pretty terrifying looking that's cool that it can actually bend down i didn't know it could do that i thought it was going to be forever up this is actually quite amazing i'm so proud of myself you guys Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's even more impressive when you have a little tiny guy. Oh, I wish this head bent down a little bit more, but man, oh man, that is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, a whole bunch of dinosaurs, carnivorous ones. Oh, my goodness, that face is amazing. You guys, this is so cool. We're about to watch Boxy Boo absolutely destroy all of these dinos. Now, he can't eat any of them, unfortunately, and he is, he's spiking them with his little fingers but it's not doing nearly as much damage as i would like it to be doing and they can't do they can't do a single thing to boxy boo because his he's completely armored up and so unfortunately it's not quite like geared towards ground camp combat like this he was literally designed to eat stuff from above that's how i designed him with the thought in, that, in mind and so it doesn't quite work out but it is sure cool to see i love when he opens his mouth look at 
this map is amazing. That is so cool. Yeah, let's see if he catches any of these herbivores in his mouth. I can't really make a sarlacc pit. I tried to make his throat like that. Oh, he got that triceratops. He's got almost all of them. Whoa, that's so cool. I tried to make a sarlacc pit in his throat, but what happened was when I made that, oh, it's still, there's still one inside. He's eating that stego inside his mouth. When I tried to make it, it like totally screwed up his mouth and made it open up. And so I can't make, I can't put spikes down in there or it gets all weird. Can he catch any Brachiosaurus? Let's find out if he can catch this big gigantic thing. Now, I think I probably could have designed this thing just a little bit better so you actually could eat some stuff, but like, because the timing's all off and so the detection distance, I've tried to do this before. He, he got he got one at least. I've tried to do this before, but I can never get the detection distance just right. So where when they are falling off and they're like right about here, uh, you know, he'll open his mouth or whatever. And so... I think I messed that up, but that's okay. It is what it is. Get in his mouth. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I like let it go full speed instead of slowing it down, if that makes a difference. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, it totally does. He just ate both of those guys. I love the noise that it makes when he like a whole bunch of them get on the spikes. You ever wonder what 61 <laughs> Velociraptors looks like on a little tiny platform? Well, here you go. <laughs> Too much. 61. 61 Velociraptors fall into his mouth. Oh, they went, went, by, went by way too fast. Let me do it again. Here we go. Here we go. There's the slow-mo. <laughs> hey, that's amazing. He just needs to, like, open his mouth and just let them all fall in there without doing anything. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to move. Don't close. He stabs himself in the throat because he's, like, trying to get the stuff that's down inside there. And here we go. The big boys, the last of the Carnos. Falling into its mouth. Will he catch any of them? He got that. He got the T-Rex, I think. He got the T-Rex in his mouth. That's all that matters. So we got the big boy. He's in there just getting like... <laughs> He's just getting like totally destroyed. I think I also needed maybe to up the the damage that each of the spikes do. They're on 10, which I thought would be enough, but that T-Rex is in there for a long time. Guys, this thing is awesome. I I like this thing a lot. It's just a nice ordinary day here in this wonderful village. People on their way to work. Beautiful women what? sitting here working in their gardens. Little children admiring the petting zoo. But oh man, down the street, some kind of terrifying monsters attacking. It's Boxy Boo from Project Playtime. He is destroying all of the townsfolk. No one is safe from his terrifying attacks. Oh no, he just straight up destroyed that whole car. Boxy Boo is the new monster from Project Playtime. But guess what? There are others. And today, Boxy Boo is going to be fighting off against other Project Playtime Boxy Boo nightmares to prove who is the strongest and best of them all. Listen, you can kill me, just don't kill my carrots. So this was like the first Boxy Boo this game saw, and man, oh man, the, the design of it is absolutely amazing. But guess what? There's actually a whole bunch of them, and we have to find out which one is the best. Comment in the comment section below what you think of Boxy Boo, and if you think there are going to be even more hidden nightmare monsters in the game. Look at this. I have a whole bunch of them, but which one is the best? Okay, here's the next one, and look at this. It's kind of got like a back rooms type of feel to it with the little metal bars going around. This one doesn't seem to be quite as equipped as the other one does. And he also doesn't really have like the whole Jack in the Box look going for him but maybe he'll actually be pretty terrifying he doesn't have claws in his hands instead he's got these little tiny like you know those little I don't know what you want to call them. Mechanical, spiky, tentacles, serpent type of things that just cause all kinds of uh, mayhem when things get close to him. He was able to take out this army with relative ease. At the end, we'll take all seven of them and fight them against one another and see who comes out victorious. Now, here's this one, which this one looks abs... I like the look of this one. He's got 
furry claws, which he has in the trailer. He's kind of furry looking. And then he has like a really awesome looking head that I think opens up, which is probably going to be better than the other one. This one, actually, I like, I like this one better than than the other one the first one you guys at the end will you also comment and tell me which one looks the best okay like the closest representation to what the trailer showed his mouth does open slightly which is a little bit better than the other one he has the whole jack in the boxing this thing spins <laughs> that's like a big improvement upon the first one for sure yo the fact that this thing spins is really cool that gives a whole new look i think this one is the closer representation goodbye polar bear meet your doom in the abyss below what's down there by the way hades and it's reserved for polar bears this one seems a little crazy looking but here's the oh look at that star here's the thing with this one he's got these big gigantic tentacle things and a huge fist so he might actually turn out to be the strongest maybe i don't know his head also is on one of those things does his mouth open no idea he doesn't look nearly as convincing as the other ones he's gonna attack this fort and destroy all these soldiers look at his head is it's definitely longer and kind of gives the whole feel of like the extendable thing coming up out of the jack-in-the-box a little bit more than the other ones do but it doesn't look quite the same he is definitely terrifying and attacking them quite well what is he doing stop moonwalking and get to work he's having a hard time going up this little tiny hill you can't go up this little hill man oh you know what did we actually see it have legs in the in the trailer i don't think we did so that's an interesting question does it actually walk around okay this next one is uh, a little rigid looking if you know what i mean he definitely has some Big giant claws though, what the crap? These are the biggest claws I've ever seen. His little stumpy legs, he's got a big, I don't even know, this thing, this one is a little, okay, maybe it'll win the battle, but it definitely ranks the lowest in terms of looks so far. Actually, no, that's not true. This one <laughs> ranks the lowest. Even though he's crazy looking, he doesn't really look too much like Boxy Boo at all. Here's a little arm of almost naked babies <laughs> little hill giant babies coming in here against this this boxy boo so this one has got this one's kind of interesting looking he's he definitely has the look to it but everything's kind of like accentuated like he's got gigantic feet stubby little arms and stuff he does have a crank but the crank is ginormous and his head moves which is cool but it doesn't and it does it open i think his mouth opens too it does sweet so i think this one you know it's it'll be interesting to see who the overall winner turns out to be welcome to the simulation <laughs> we're in the matrix you guys in the loading room get your weapons and stuff oh because this one's hairy and his crank moves okay cool well the crank gets stuck on his arms but it's moving and he's hairy which is a good representation of the trailer so maybe you guys tell me which one looks the best or which one re is representative of the trailer the most i like this thing's mouth he's eating it better and he's got gigantic eyes i don't know which one i like more the they're all so cool except for that one now we find out who is the best okay guys this is the original one this is number one okay so you tell me in the comments below one through seven which one you like the most for looks as well as which one you think will win this is number one this is number two the back rooms looking thing this is number three which is Got the crank that works pretty well, and he's hairy. So he, I don't know which one I like more, this one or the original one. This is number four, who's got the extendable thing kind of going for him. So he he's representative of that aspect. Number five, <laughs> the uh, blocky one. Number six, the hairy and you know the crank works number six it's got the top thing i mean this one's pretty good representation and then number seven which also has a crank that works this one hmm i don't know which one i like more this one might be my favorite one right here 
Let's, okay, let's see who wins. One through seven, comment below. I have no idea. <laughs> this is like a bunch of clones. Oh no, that blocky one went down instantaneously. And if there's one that's just like super overpowered, obviously we'll DQ that thing. Uh, what? I don't know which, did number one just die? No, no, because I'm number one. So uh, no, number one did not die yet. Number one, I think is this one right here. So that one went down. Oh no, the big one might win. The back room's one. Okay, number one, it's still alive. Number one, I'm still alive. Oh, the hairy one's down. Number seven, I think. There he goes. This one's number one right here. This is number one. It's... Okay, the big one died. Sweet. It's the back room's one versus number one. This is crazy. I did not expect this. I thought that big one was going to win with the, with the huge arms and face. I thought for sure that one would be victorious. It's actually kind of crazy that they're destroying... No! The back room won one. Oh no! I I didn't want no. Okay, and they lost health too. So okay, let's look at that. Let's look at the stats and see what they are. We got to find out. Okay, forty four hundred twenty thousand. That's not too bad. Back rooms one. Oh, it only has one hundred eighty six. Well, okay, pretty legit. One hundred eighty six. That one's got seventy. This one. I had 72. Okay, so that's not nearly the highest. <laughs> this one's a baby. Ah, it's got no stats. Uh, 70. They're all 70,000. That's kind of interesting. So the number one, number one. Wait, no, is that number one? That's not number one. That's number, that's number seven. This is number one. I don't remember which one's which. Which one moves? That's how we can tell. Number one ha doesn't have a crank that moves. This one, I think, is number one. Yeah, this one doesn't move. So this one right here, I think this one's... M no, this crank doesn't move either. I don't know. I like number one still. That's still my favorite. But you guys tell me, which one do you th which one do you like the most? And then did you think that the backrooms one was going to win? Or did you think one of the other ones was going to win? Today, we're going to find out what happens when the Poppy Playtime universe fights off against the Rainbow Friend universe. Today, we pit Poppy Playtime in the new Boxy Boo against all of the Rainbow Friends. We're going to have some pretty interesting battles and I have no idea who is going to come out victorious on top proving themselves to be the strongest and at the end of the video we're going to have a 10 versus 10 battle 10 from the poppy playtime universe versus 10 rainbow friends and we're going to see who wins First up, we have the long arm creatures fighting off against one another, Green and Mommy Longlegs. Now, part of me hopes that Mommy Longlegs wins, but then, oh, <laughs> Mommy Longlegs defeats Green as the long armed hero champion. Guys, comment in the comment section below who you think would win a battle between the Poppy Playtime universe and the Rainbow Friend universe. And then comment below who is your favorite out of all the ones that you will see in today's video. It's only fitting for the next battle to have Blue versus Blue. Huggy Wuggy versus Blue. Who will come out on top? The Blue guys fighting it off against one another. Clearly, Huggy Wuggy has got some bigger claws than Blue. He's got a longer reach for sure but blue also has some claws but it doesn't look like he's actually able to hit huggy wuggy at all oh no huggy wuggy is gonna utterly destroy blue i think right in the neck Here's the thing, even though Huggy Wuggy might have better weaponry, longer reach, Blue might have more HP than Huggy Wuggy, so it could turn out to be relatively easy. Something crazy happening in the Blue's arm. Oh, Huggy Wuggy just sinking his claws straight into every single spot that he can on Blue. Normally, that armor is able to withstand, but I guess with the force of Huggy Wuggy and those... Oh! Oh, right in his face. Oh, no. Oh, man. There is a huge difference in the damage being done. But here's the thing, guys. Look at this. He only had... It's not like they're that much different, actually. Uh, Blue has 50-50 and 70,000. Huggy Wuggy is 60-30 and 84,000. So, actually, pretty balanced and even. There it is. It's over. Blue has been defeated. Huggy Wuggy has been 
barely touched. Okay, not quite sure how this is gonna go. Purple versus Kissy Missy. I think maybe Kissy Missy might die here because purple is incredibly dangerous looking. Big weapons, lots of claws, but then again, you never know how things are gonna go in this game. Comment below who you think would win this battle, Kissy Missy or Purple. Uh, something tells me Purple would definitely win. I don't think Kissy Missy has a chance at all at defeating Purple. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the pieces just fall off. She didn't explode. She just like, they just crumbled off of her. Kissy Missy got defeated. Let's look at the, the health. Okay, a little bit of health taken off. That's kind of interesting. There aren't a ton of rainbow friends. We have to use some made up ones like this one right here, which is called Lavender. Lavender with this nice long arms is fighting off against a good looking guy named Daddy Long Legs. You don't know him. Look at that mustache. I love it. Let's see what happens when these these two fight off against one another. I bet Daddy Longlegs wins. That's my bet. I have no idea who would technically win in a battle like this, but clearly Daddy Longlegs. You know, he doesn't look like this though. If you look at like the poster, obviously, he's kind of like straight up and down. He's just like a dude who walks normally. I mean, technically, he's just kind of like long, gangly looking arms. And so, I mean, I guess it could be, but in this game, this is how it looks, which is fine. I don't know who's gonna, oh, there it is, the last hit. How much damage was done? Barely any. This could go one way at the end. Here we go with an epic boxy boo. He's made his appearance and he's fighting off against dark yellow. <laughs> Just absolutely crazy looking. Let's see who wins this battle. I hope Boxy Boo wins, but I looked at the stats and I think they're pretty even. So it could go either way. It's all gonna be about who lands the more hits, who's got the better weaponry. This battle's been raging for a while. It's gotta be getting... There it is actually. Close to being over, I was gonna say. Dark Yellow has been defeated. Boxy Boo walks away relatively unscathed. Oh no. The, once again, it, whoever landed the most hits in Boxy Boo clearly did because their stats are pretty close. I don't even know what's about to happen here. We've got Dark Pink versus Killy Willy. I got a different one and this one looks absolutely amazing. Oh no, it's not that giant one that just overran everything. This one might actually last, uh, you know, in a battle against something else for quite a while. But Killy Willy, clearly the more aggressive of the two. Whoa, this battle is actually incredibly close. Pink doing backflips over here. This is so close. I It, it could go either way at this point. What the heck? Pink? Just defeated Killy Willy? No way, that he landed like one good hit and Killy Willy died. What in the world just happened? We've got Orange versus Little Candy Cat. Look at this thing. I have no idea what's about to happen. I, I, This is brand new too. This is like a newer creation somebody made. And so I think it was Venom Shark Kid actually. So we're about to see uh, what happens here. Orange is a little crazy. I thought it would be an interesting matchup because they both have kind of like the scorpion tail thing going on. But honestly... It's hard to tell what's about to happen. Okay, Orange is definitely losing, but I think what's gonna happen is one of them is gonna fly off the map. They they are derping out like crazy. And so I'm, uh oh, oh my gosh, I knew it! I knew it, who, who died first? Orange died first, where's Blue? Where's Candy Cat? There it is over there. I knew it, I knew it was gonna happen. Guys, I think it's time for the main event. Here we go, 10 v 10. And now uh, that I look at it, I think once <laughs> might be a little one-sided over here we've got all kinds of poppy playtime universe stuff coming over here on this side and then we've got all the rainbow friend stuff on this side clearly one side is a lot bigger than the other and uh, might be a little bit more well equipped okay i was going to do this battle and leave Bron in but he is way way too laggy too many parts to keep in this battle so we have to take him out it's going to be a 9v10 but i think it's still going to be okay we still have some serious lag but way less than before Bron, i wanted to see him fight but we just we're just gonna leave him out it's gonna be really hard to tell what's happening here clearly like mommy long legs just wrapped around a whole bunch of stuff there's tons of poppy playtime stuff right Right here in this area and not as much over here we've got a couple things fighting on this side a couple rainbow friends versus uh daddy long legs it looks like he's the only one over here and so it's kind of like a 6v1 oh somebody actually died i think it was la is it was it lavender 
It was Lavender. Lavender was over here, and Lavender actually died to uh, to this. No, and it looks like maybe Orange died too. It he did. Wow. So Orange died as well. This is crazy. There goes Green. Green died. Dude, Teddy Longlegs is wrecking everybody. There goes Purple. Purple died too. This is insane. There are just body parts everywhere. Whoa, something crazy happened. Some kind of crazy glitch. I think maybe that was orange. Parts just went flying everywhere. Killy Willy's left standing. This is pretty much one-sided. Oh my goodness. This did not at all go as I thought it was going to. Is that Kissy Missy? What's Kissy Missy doing? <laughs> She's just over here hanging out under the tree. Dude, this candy cat. Candy cat's over here. Stuck on the outside of the map. <laughs> you know, I built this arena to keep things from going out, but what happens most of the time is they get hit so hard, they just phase right into the uh, into the wall. Oh, there goes blue. Blue goes down. Now it's just yellow, re yellow and red, yellow and dark red. Oh, orange is back. The ch their chances are not very good if red's still <laughs> around. Red goes down. I think orange f is down now. No, orange is still in there. Freaking out orange is the one that makes everything derp out. Oh, there goes orange. It's just yellow yellow versus daddy and Killy. This is crazy. I did not expect this to be so like one-sided like this But honestly, there's two two v one. So it's not technically one-sided, but daddy long legs has Taken out almost every single one of these guys. Oh, there it is. It goes down Killy Willy daddy long legs the last two survivors Somebody else is alive too. Uh, I don't know where though someone else is alive somewhere Killy Willy's detection distance is nine 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 and so he would be able to detect if there was somebody alive somewhere. So something is glitched out because technically we've got Candy Cat and these two left. And so there's a rainbow friend somewhere, I guess. That's pretty much how I thought this battle was gonna go. You guys comment below and tell me your thoughts if you thought that rainbow friends would win or if it was Poppy Playtime. There's a new bloop and today we find out just how strong it is. Today we make all the bloops fight to find out who's the strongest. And then we ask the question, what happens if bloop faces off against a whole army of boxy boos? You might find yourself asking the question, what if bloop was actually real. What sort of madness and terror might he inflict on unsuspecting civilians? Well, I'll do you one better. <laughs> what if there was such a thing as Bloopzilla? This would be how big he was, and this is what he would do. He'd start by <laughs> flamethrowering down a couple civilians. Then he'd light Granny's house on fire. He'd help the local baker make some bread. He'd visit the local sporting event and ruin the fun for all the kiddos. This apparently is a bloop, <laughs> but this bloop I'm just going to dub the derp bloop because he's kind of derpy, although he does have quite the different weaponry, so he could turn out to be pretty lethal against some of the other bloops. Ooh, and he does eat things, which is pretty cool to see, and he also has all kinds of weird tentacle things going on on his body. Don't ask me how this happened, but there's a bunch of alphabet lore and some huggy wuggy poppy playtime stuff fighting off against what's known as the mini bloop and so we'll see what happens with the mini bloop because there's a bigger version of this bloop that's a little bit more terrifying what happened to his face and this might be more effective actually because he all he has to do is skid it along the ground and it can skewer all sorts of things actually nope it's just derped out these alphabet lore characters are quite durable they can withstand some nice attacks from bloop although things are starting to get even more weird Weird. I think we should check out the next one. Ooh, a whole army of mommy longlegs is pretty terrifying looking. But 
What's more terrifying than these things? Oh, I don't know. What about Missile Bloop, who's way up high in the air, and he's way larger than the other one? I'm pretty sure Mommy Longlegs is going to not be able to withstand the effects of Missile Bloop for very long. And it turns out, though, that the missiles aren't really launching off nearly as much as I thought they would be. Let's try this again. I made Missile Bloop a little bit more terrifying. Yeah, that's more like it. Now we're talking about Missile I like it a lot. It turns out, though, that the Mommy Longlegs have quite a bit of health and can withstand hundreds of missiles. This is Punk Bloop. Punk Bloop is a little derpy. <laughs> Punk Bloop is just kind of an ordinary shark. He's just trying to blend in with the other bloops, I think. Punk Bloop, though, faces off against a whole army of bobbies and bobby riders. I'm not too sure if they're gonna... Oh, yeah, and there's also Sir Baconstein back there, which I don't know if you guys remember Sir Baconstein, but here he is. He's got a flaming jet toots coming out of his butt. He... It, they are... Well, okay, it's working. Punk Bloop is dragging his spikes along the ground ground, spiking everything in its way, but will melee only be able to deal damage against the other epic bloops? Let's find out. But here's the thing. There is a bloop that is so gigantic. It is the boss bloop, the daddy bloop, the big old grandpa bloop, and it's probably going to win. Maybe. I don't know. Is there anything that can beat this bloop? Let's find out in our epic battle royale, and then let's watch as the bloops fight off against the new boxy boo. Oh my god goodness something tells me the other ones are in for quite the battle and this might be the best bloop there is although this bloop's kind of got like a cool golden look to it which maybe it's a brand new bloop it's a type of bloop you've never seen before one thing is absolutely for certain this bloop <laughs> would cause a mass extinction event and destroy everything on the face of the earth if it was uh, floating through the air right today so what happens if you take all the bloops in game and make them fight off against one another which one is victorious at the end of the battle and like always if this one proves to be the absolute best because it's like just overpowered we will dq it from the battle while it can retain the overall you know best bloop in game title we'll make these ones fight to prove which one is the best of the basic versions we've got the missile bloop fighting off against the mini boop we've got the boop we've got the punk bloop fighting off against them as well then over here we got godzilla zilla bloop bloop zilla versus this weird bloop over here here comes oh no there's the flamethrowers the big bloop is here and he's means absolute business now bloop this bloopzilla he also has flamethrowers there he goes light him up bloopzilla what are you doing and then over here did anybody die yet on this side doesn't look like anyone is dead yet over here while it looks like the missile bloop definitely has what's going like the best stuff going on for it surprisingly after like four minutes bloopzilla is still alive i thought for sure bloopzilla would be dead by now especially when facing this thing but that maybe that proves that bloopzilla oh, bloopzilla died maybe that proves that bloopzilla Zilla technically is the next bet and these guys are still fighting over here I wonder if any damage has actually been done they've got melee they've got lasers they've got missiles they're flying up into the air no one has taken any damage yet except for the punk bloop so he's gonna die next uh oh here comes here comes the boss bloop oh no you guys <laughs> boss bloop is coming he's getting closer I should have put him as player one so I don't have this stupid you lost on the screen the whole time i wish i could wish we could get rid of that and like hide the ui essentially oh no he's gonna torch all of them isn't he the the punk bloop is down now the missile bloop is getting just absolutely demolished and and baby mini bloop has got his weird mouth thing freaking out again these guys actually are lasting a lot longer than i thought they would against this thing oh no there goes the baby bloop mini bloop is gone Mini bloop is no, there goes the other bloop. This bloop definitely proved to be the best bloop there is. Now, the question is, do I have them battle again and take him out? I think maybe we do. Now it's just these guys, and I think probably Bloopzilla is going to wind up winning this battle. That's my guess, at least. But then again, we, you never know. It could be the missile bloop, but I'm thinking Bloopzilla is going to win. We got a big problem. This battle has been going on and nothing, <laughs> nothing is happening. <laughs> There's no damage being done, even though Bloopzilla has 
flamethrowers. So I think that means that the other bloop is the best bloop, and we can actually see some action from at least one of the bloops. Now, by themselves against other things, they prove to be pretty formidable foes. And speaking of which, what happens if we take one of the bloops and fight them off against the boxy blue boos? All these blues and boops and oops are messing with my mind. Seven boxy boos facing off against one bloop. This is bloop baby bloop. Mini bloop with his little lasers and his teeth. We'll find Find out if this thing can actually beat these these ones. They're all melee based, and so I'm assuming that they're not going to be able to beat Bloop. That Bloop will be able to beat them. But then again, we ne you never know how battles go in this game. Clearly, they're getting lasered. One just died literally from nothing. It didn't even get lasers. He just straight up died. Maybe he got bit by the teeth or something. They're just trying their best to try to hit him. Get find a weak spot of some kind. But nothing's really happening. Although there is some a lot of loot, like weak spots underneath Bloop. Blo blo Oops, I can't, there's too many boos and things. But let's be real. If Bloop came around and fought off against Boxy Boo, the answer to that battle is pretty straightforward, don't you think? Do you think that Boxy Boo would destroy Bloop from inside internally? Comment below and let me know if you think that that would happen. Oh no, there's just parts everywhere. It's pretty much safe to say that they're not doing any damage to him. And he's just straight up, he just broke that one's neck. He just lasered his neck through his body. Oh no, look over here. This one's, oh no, his head's back to normal. I was gonna say, that one's head got lasered through that thing too. They're all just getting, they're getting straight up lasered broken. That is awesome. Oh no, this one's head is turned around backwards and upside down. How did that even happen? It is surprising though to me that they have managed to last this long. Have they done any? They haven't done any damage to him. This one's the one that had his head blown through his body has taken the least amount of damage. They're okay. This battle is looking pretty one sided over here, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and if the bloop that you thought would win, you know, was the one that won. I mean, I. I I knew from the beginning that that thing was way too powerful i thought it has those laser flamethrowers and they're pretty op but then let me know what you think about uh the whole boxy boo getting eaten by bloop if boxy boo could destroy bloop from the inside that's a very i'm very curious to know your thoughts hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video click one of the two videos you're about to see go watch one of the other uh, boxy boo videos to see who was the ultimate and strongest boxy boo out of all of them see you guys next time